did that go for you today? Uh, not too bad. Um, it was kind of like my first all around competition with all my skills on hard, um, so I'm happy about that. Um, but I was a bit annoyed because I fell on my catch F and I don't think I've not hit any routines this week, so that was a bit of a fluke. Um, but overall, happy. It's definitely different. Um, I mean, if we could come in top three and be qualified, that would be great. But um, I think our team know what we could and could could do out there. Um, but we're just working as hard as we can together, uh, getting our routines as good as we can. Yeah, definitely. When I'm in the gym, I work hard, and then I'm out in the gym, and I don't want to be thinking about what I've done in the gym all day because I've got to go back in tomorrow um, <laughs> so as soon as I'm like out of the gym I like to not really talk about it do other stuff like our business is a good distraction or I'd go out with my mates and don't know just do something not gymnastics related um, so yeah having stuff out of the gym is definitely a good thing for me some people like to be gym 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 mm. which is up to them but um, for me it works having other stuff out of the gym so Bex was talking about you um, enjoying, both of you enjoying the sort of fashion side of things mm -hmm. and I mentioned about Dina and KJT doing the London Fashion Week and how, yeah. gutted, how envious you were yeah. of them doing that. But I think there is becoming more of a crossover of sports like gymnastics um, and people appreciating people who are famous for being talented at something rather than yeah. not for doing anything and I think it's heading more that way. Do you see that as well? Uh, yeah, um, like when Dina and KJT did that, we and Becky were definitely both jealous. Um, I love, I think they walked in Paris Fashion Week as well. In their did off, they? Yeah, in their off-white show. Um, when off-white's like one of my favourite brands, so I'm definitely jealous of that. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, um, it does look like it's heading more that way, which is a good thing, because there's nothing more that frustrates me that there's people that are famous for not doing much. Too, yeah. um, like it's good for people who are famous to be good at something instead of just being like a social media I don't know person who posts about brands all the time and then they just become famous and I think that's something that annoys me so. yeah I'm <laughs> totally with you right? I wrote an article about it about 10 years ago it's annoyed me from then <laughs> I'm into fashion but I'm very much into makeup as well um, like Alice, yeah. set up a business. <laughs> <laughs> um, I did a makeup qualification, or I'm working on it. I did it in the summer, I did my course in the summer, and then uh, I've got to do all my coursework for it. And then hopefully, I'll be like, it's more like a freelance thing. So, oh, like, okay. you can go to people, or people go to you and ask if they want to do your makeup. And I think, I think we'll just kind of build from there. Um, so, that's what I want to do. Like, when I've done gym and I have more time to. Yeah. go to people to do it um, that's something I'd like to do but it's good that you're sort of looking at it just sort of dabbling now and mm -hmm. getting qualifications okay I have a question the Dutch gymnast who had the cat's makeup on the other day yeah what did you think about that I thought it was very out the box and obviously very different for gymnastics um, yeah it obviously suited her floor routine um, not something that I would have chose to do but um, yeah, I think it definitely made everyone look, which is a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> yes, true. I, th I agree. I think it's a bit over the top for gymnastics, and I was just hoping and praying it wasn't going to be a new thing where you all start doing yeah. it and stuff. Like, we always get, like, our leotards, like, if we have pink on it, then you make your eyeshadow a bit more pink. Yeah. And, like, stuff that like that. That makes sense, yeah. Yeah, but, yeah, um, yeah I, w I wouldn't go that far, but... <laughs> I mean, it was pretty cool. <laughs> and it's a good job the floor routine's amazing as well, yeah. in terms of her dance sort yeah, of Yeah, at least it, like, related to her floor routine. Yeah. Like, it wasn't, like, totally. her floor routine was just dancing and then she put makeup on like a cat. Like, <laughs> at least it, like, so went random. together. <laughs> <laughs> you kind of see more of what people do and their lives and you can kind of get an idea of what they're like 
like before you meet them so like it's not like you meet them they're a total stranger because you probably know what they're doing most of their days from online um, which is weird but <laughs> <laughs> yeah but yeah I think it does bring people closer like even when our team got announced there was like Morgan Hurd and Jade Carey like commenting on like all of our posts just saying congratulations which is just nice that like yeah. they're looking they're kind of looking out for you in a way yeah but, yeah. yeah it's really nice I love Morgan Hurd she's just yeah. she's, she's just really so <laughs> she's, she doesn't she, she's she's probably rock hard the confidence of someone her age and she's probably the same age as you someone her age to be wearing glasses and not going this is me people your age perhaps you do have that confidence but I think there's also because of the social media there's a lot of knocking as well so yeah, you have to definitely. deal with that side of it yeah. like she is confident to like not give in to the peer pressure of like oh I need to wear contact lenses because it's not really right for me to wear glasses doing mm. gymnastics but she stands by that and that's what she wants to do or needs to do and there is probably people that comment online and be like why is she wearing glasses so so what yeah